Ashley also spoke with Niccolo DeMasi, CEO of NYSE Listed, Eye on Q about the quantum revolution and his company's recent success in the space. Take a look. Well, quantum computing is the next leg of the computing revolution. So we're about 70, 80 years into uh, the concept of artificial intelligence and the concept of machines that can perform useful calculations. And we've, of course, gone from early days of the transistor to the, the CPU in the 80s and 90s being where the action is at to GPUs being very important, of course, uh, and companies like NVIDIA and Broadcom uh, and AMD uh, rising to the forefront uh, at the expense of companies like Intel. The quantum computing revolution will do the same thing in the coming years, um, I think, to GPUs. The GPUs have done the CPUs. Um, we can debate the time horizons, but ultimately right now, GPUs and quantum computers will begin working together ever more. Uh, and there will come a day when our quantum computers are so much more powerful, so much more space efficient, energy efficient, and cost effective um, that, that our, we believe our QPUs, as we call them, uh, will ultimately start to replace GPUs. Um, now, that's only one piece of our business. Um, quantum sensing and quantum networking is the rest of what we call the business of quantum, and it's the rest of our product families. Uh, and INQ is very proud of the fact that we work with not only commercial companies from uh, drug discovery and pharmaceutical through to logistics um, and aerospace, but also defense companies. Um, and we do a lot with defense companies nationwide. Um, there's a big defense community, of course, uh, in, in North Palm Beach um, and in Florida in general. Um, and so we feel like the full suite of our products can actually be uh, fully utilized, deployed, and embraced in Florida and in, in Palm Beach County itself. And IonQ recently achieved a record-breaking algorithmic qubit score of 64 on its IonQ tempo. Can you talk more about that milestone? Yeah, it's a tremendous achievement. I mean, you know, we, we delivered a 20x speed up on June 9th that we announced in partnership with AstraZeneca, AWS, and NVIDIA. Um, in computational drug design. We literally turned the better part of a month of classical computational work into a day uh, on, our, on our old quantum computers, last year's hardware, if you will, last generation. The new system that we announced on September 12th uh, that we call Tempo is 36 quadrillion times more powerful, uh, we believe, than anyone else's machine out there. We ran benchmarks against IBM's uh, machine specifically, and we published those benchmarks and showed that we have a 36 quadrillion times bigger compute space. Now, we already believe that our machines last generation uh, were the best in the world. And so, believe it or not, our AQ36 system last year to AQ64 system this year is moving forward by about 260 million times in power. Um, and so, a number of quantum advantage and quantum supremacy solutions that we have delivered this year, both in the computational engineering and computational drug design space, um, are obviously going to go up a lot more next year using this new Tempo hardware that we unveiled uh, you know, just a couple of weeks ago. So it is a watershed moment. It takes about a billion GPUs, we estimate, to simulate a single one of our Tempo AQ64 systems. And I like to always remind people we're, we're just getting started here, right? So you're going to see more advances from here on out every single generation, right? So it's going to move up and up and up to the right. Um, and you're going to see millions of time become billions of times, trillions, quadrillions, quintillions of times more powerful, slowly but surely.